Hey guys, this is Beastie, and welcome to my first video where I discuss an idea, thought, or news in the gaming world, and even sometimes in the real world. There have been many videos coming out about Battlefield 2016, and what certain YouTubers want in the next Battlefield, which has created a lot of really interesting discussions. Though I'm excited about DICE and EA thinking more about making the next Battlefield have more competitive aspects, I have been more interested in the discussion surrounding the setting of the next Battlefield. For example, should it be World War II, World War I, Modern Warfare, Sci-Fi, Near Future, or something like Vietnam? A while ago I started thinking about this question a lot, so I created a poll on Google+, and the results were very similar to the poll that Jack Frags just created, though the answers I put up were slightly different and the amount of votes was much smaller. Both the poll that Jack made and mine ended with World War II being the overwhelming winner. Also on my poll and his video where he showed the results, there was a lot of discussion about how World War II would be amazing since we have only had modern and futuristic first person shooters for such a long time now, other than you know a few random DLCs, mods, and unknown games. On the other hand, many gamers brought up the fact that there would be less customization and less opportunities for unique weapons and vehicles, leading to their question back to the World War II fans, why would you want a game that has an old setting and less of everything? This question brought me to my thoughts that I wanted to talk about today. Though I do think one reason people want a World War II setting in the next Battlefield is because modern and futuristic are getting really stale, I think a huge reason that many people overlooked is how World War II games really connect with people on a much deeper scale. From my personal experience, I have played many modern and futuristic first person shooters, and they just really never created a world or story that I could connect with on a more personal level. They just you know, look really good, they look really, really nice, the graphics are amazing, and for the most part, they're really fun to play with friends. But from my personal experience playing Battlefield 1942 and Vietnam, you know, two of my favorite battlefields, I was sucked in so fast because these games had the music that connected you with the time and the war, and it also had the environments and wars that actually happened in real life and what we learned about in school and what, while we were watching movies and documentaries. I even researched more about these wars because I was interested. I had, I had some really interesting discussions with my grandpa and you know, I, I got you know, slightly better grades in social, social studies because I wanted to read my history books and you know, I actually kind of was interested in. This brings up another point that I, you know, I won't go too much into detail, but the new generation of kids growing up now just don't have the same knowledge about their grandparents and their great-grandparents and what they had to sacrifice for them to have the life that they have now. Though I know games, especially first-person shooters, won't be the best teaching tools, it might make them ask questions and, you know, some pretty important questions. Tell me what you guys think about this perspective in the comment section down below and maybe you even have a few things to add or maybe you disagree. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.